Hi, today uh, we learn how to hack MySQL server. This video is uh, paid only for the training or for the security purpose. So don't try it on live server because it creates very noise and you, it's very easy to track you. So beginning, I'm just uh, already connect with the, my Kali machine, which is installed on VMware Workstation. I have installed MySQL server on my Workstation also. So just uh, is first, I am going to scan uh, MySQL port, uh, which is 3306 by default to scan the port I'm using and map because it's a very good software to scanning ports and scan any services i'm using switch minus p double three zero six and the host ip three dot hundred um pros You can see that the double three it's double three zero six port on my uh, host is open. Now I'm going to attack uh, on my MySQL server. I'm using Hydra. Hydra is a tool to cast crack valid login passwords and uh, it's a very good software yeah you can use this for any ftp server for any uh, wordpress server you can use in on many ways it's already given an example the hydra minus l minus up on F ftp server i'm just going to use it on MySQL server Hydra minus L root uh, the default username of MySQL server P for the password list. Uh, it's so that the uh, minus P switch is for the password drive file. Uh, I'm using the file which is already being available on Kali Linux. It's a password list, and I am just uh, using simple MySQL. Uh, command because uh, my i've configured my sql with the default port so just it's fine ready to go now you can see that it's attempting a lot of part password with the default username root never try it on a live server because uh, your live ip will be blocked because a lot of firewalls like IPTAP is and SPF and many other systems install on the cloud servers on the host servers. So it will block your IP if you are using this software on a live host. Uh, you can see that it's found a very weak password clock. Uh, which I have already configured on my host machine. Just check, uh, I'm going to check the user, user credentials. MySQL minus use switch for the username, root minus p for password, minus h for host, and if find the host IP here it's asking me for the password I've entered the passwords you can see that it's connecting successfully so never configure a very weak password on a live host on a MySQL database server so thanks for all and thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos